Hello everyone, we're going to go on a prospecting expedition in southern Colorado. Uh, we're going to be looking for copper related minerals for jewelry, which are going to be uh, cuprite, malachite, native copper, possibly a little azurite. Uh, we never know exactly what we're going to find up there. Um, I'd like to ask you to share this channel and video. Uh, like and subscribe so that we can grow the channel. If you're, if you're enjoying the expedition, please do that. And without anything else to say, let's get up on the mountain. Hey everybody, Lonnie here. We're digging up here at this uh, place where we try to find some uh, copper minerals, cuprite, malachite, native copper. And I'll reverse. This is my hole. My hole. There's Brian. <laughs> There's Brian's hole. He's got a big hole down there too. And uh, I got some test holes all around here. But anyway, just trying to go through this material. Look for green rocks. Some of them are good, make nice jewelry, and uh, that's the deal for the moment. We're on a steep slope. Up there they blasted the heck out of the place. We're just looking for what they blasted who knows how many years ago. Probably World War I. Okay, so we'll catch you later. Here in my hole, digging for copper, cuprite, malachite. I found this nice chunk here. I think that's going to be pretty awesome when I cut it open. <clears throat> Here's a piece I found and broke open. It's got a lot of quartz in it, so that should polish up nice. So this will be unique. It did pretty good today. It doesn't look that cool now, but there's some copper. Okay, well I see a little green. Let's see if I can find it on the camera there. I think that's it. So uh Let's see what we can get. If it's on the surface, it's not very usable. See, that looks like surface material. Um, it's a little more than surface. There we go. That's like the copper, almost native copper, cuprite. So I will, it's worth cutting to take a look inside. It is uh, not the best piece I've ever seen. But, shows a little promise. Okay. Really that area there, and we got a potential way into the rock through that. So can, can kind of cut through that green layer and see what happens. See if we can find a better piece. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Okay. So, this hole didn't produce a lot. I did get a few okay pieces out of it. Definitely for one made into jewelry, it's, it's worth a day's work. Um, you know, who knows how much rock this is. Maybe a, a ton or two that I moved in this hole alone. Got some other holes up there. Um, we definitely moved some rock, moved a lot down there. And yes, there is snow. And uh, so, yeah, there's my hole down there. And so, 
Uh, fun times either way. There's some place where we dug a couple years ago and we've dug up there. So we have some fun up here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, do some other cool stuff pretty soon here. Uh, I will definitely, uh, I did find enough good pieces. I will try to wash them off and get them in the video. So I uh, will catch up in a minute. Okay, hello everybody. Um, we're going to take a little look at the rocks we found up at the place we are prospecting. And these are going to be processed in making jewelry. And we're talking about some malachites, uh, cuprite, and malachite, cuprite, copper is what we're looking for in the rocks. And the host rock, we know, I know some of what it is and some of it I don't. So let's take a look here. Um, okay, here's some, a little bit of uh malachite and cuprite in there i can see some of the metallics in the dark colors this one isn't that great we'll put it aside here as we go i'm gonna go through them a little fast not too slow anyway okay this is a this is a nice we kind of call it a patty up there it's a nice patty a thick thick layer of malachite and cuprite i had looked at this in the sun and it's a little reflective so i'm thinking it's going to turn metallic pretty quickly and so we're talking cuprite or copper in there and you can see the layer goes through the rock so it will probably be very fun to cut okay what else we got here this is a layer that goes through the rock and this is just big enough for one piece of some kind of jewelry a ring or pendant okay this is in solid quartz and you can see the bluish metallic metal there that's the cuprite and that can turn into just straight up native copper once the rock is cut into so to me, this looks like a fun rock to cut. It also, when you hit this quartz, it it, uh, it has some superior jewelry quality because it keeps its polish very good where some of this malachite uh, starts out great but can lose its luster after a little bit of time, like a year or something. Okay, this is also a thick layer, easy to cut. It's gonna show some colors. I can see some cuprite in there this is this is where you see the layer of cuprite and maybe copper so this style of cuprite can turn red purple uh gray brown and turn into native copper and and it is it may have some silver in it we're kind of discussing whether it has silver in it okay let's go in here this is my biggest rock that, that is promising. It's a couple pounds. And you can see it has layers going through it. Oops, some of it's, it falls apart, some of this rock. But ah, I was able to see some layers in here. Like there's a potential layer. There's a potential layer. Uh, this is going through the rock a little more unevenly, but you can see a vein going through there. And there will be uh, a lot of color in this rock as it's cut. So, What do we have here? So you can see a little bit of malachite. Definitely some signs. I'm not sure how well this one will cut. But there's a good color in it, and it's worth giving a try to. So, okay, this is, this has got some interesting layers in it. Okay, so this is a granite, like, I think they call it nice or nice. It's a, 
It's got some black crystals in there and a very thin layer of good jewelry quality material. So I'll have to cut that carefully, but I think it'll come out nice. Ha! Nice. Okay, this is an interesting rock here. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm going to try to remember what, what I was looking at in this rock when I pulled it. It's got the granite, the quartz. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I pulled that one out of the stack, out of the crumbles of the rest of the material. So let's see what else we have here. This one I remember pretty well. It has a has a very thin metallic layer on the top and it will require careful cutting. It's mostly quartz. And that thin layer. But I thought I'd get a nice piece of jewelry. It has a little metallic layer up in the top so I have to Grind it very carefully. Here's another, uh, here's another layer of material with that cuprite in it. A vein. Let's see what else we have. There's a thin layer of good cuttable material in the top of that rock with, with bright color. That should cut up nicely. Okay, let's see what, what else we got here. So this is a questionable piece. I don't know if I can get, get the rock saw to cut into that. But it's pretty. All of this is pretty. Another kind of questionable piece to cut into. It does, just doesn't have the layers lining up as you'd think, but you know. Might be able to cut into there and get a cute piece out of it. Okay, this one may or may not work out. There's a potential thick layer right there. It's oxidized. It goes through the rock. That should cut up. That should work. And... So mining and cutting is definitely not everybody's bag. Okay, so nice color inside that. That is a, what we call a nugget. It's a piece of vein material that broke out of the rock. Almost pure malachite and cuprite, maybe a little copper. The native copper is, is the most valuable thing that we find. Let's see what we got here. Ah, dropping rocks. Okay, there's a layer of vein material going through the rock. It's got spots in it. It might look really cute. This is an interesting little... Uh, Oh, there's a Mendelbrock fractal. Haha, <laughs> something like that. But this might end up cutting into a cute pattern. Let's see what else we got. This is not my favorite rock, but it's showing a little bit of a vein going through. So we'll have to see if I can get that to cut. That's a lot of cutting work for what you might get out of it. Um, okay, this is a really good layer. Let's see what it's doing. If it comes through the other side. Yep, goes all the way through. Not there, but it's on both sides of the rock. So, a very nice layer to cut into. There's a pretty piece. That is not much to cut into, but we can get that to do something. Um, kind of a quartz, quartz on the bottom, so that should be very good to cut into, a good solid piece. 
some of these uh, barely have anything. We'll see if that might have some copper showing. That might be why I grabbed that. Some uh, that little piece will be hard to cut into, but maybe. This is a good thick layer all through the rock. And yeah, so we're talking copper minerals. Oxidations of copper. This is wet, so it's showing more color. Let's see what we got here. A thin layer of pretty material. This is a nugget. Okay, a little layer to cut through there. Not much else, right in the top. And we're done-ish. Oh, here's, a, here's a tiny nugget. That might make a good bead or something. Okay, so that's what we got for uh, that trip out. And uh, so thanks so much for taking a look and we'll do more adventures up in the mountains. I think we're going to make sure and do adventures outdoors and lots of other material on this channel and discussion about various topics. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be very helpful. So uh, we'd like to get this channel going and we're going to make it interesting for you. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, thanks. Bye.